friends today we'll be discussing few points from the chapter changes physical and chemical so in this chapter we'll be studying about various types of changes happening in our surrounding environment now few of these changes are shown in these images in first image you can see there is one glass full of milk and in earthen pot there is powdered sugar if you add this sugar to milk it will dissolve easily in second image there is one ice cube which is melting slowly because of the heat present in its surrounding environment in third image there is one sprouted bean or sprouting seed in fourth image there is a pot and uh, water is boiling in it now steams are coming out of that boiling water fifth image shows a firecracker all of you might have experience of bursting firecrackers in Dipavli so this is one sparkling firecracker you can see colorful sparks in sixth image there are some pieces of wood which are burning this fire might be used for cooking food or for bonfire or some other purpose right in last image there are sounding firecrackers in Marathi we call it as a ladi right now let's see what are these changes how do we cl classify these changes what points might be considered while classifying these changes so there are few more examples are given and you have been asked that which points will you consider while classifying these changes so first change given here is a fruit falling from a tree rusting of iron raining lightning and electric bulb cutting vegetables so some of these changes are happening naturally for some changes you might have to act on your own right now which of the above changes have occurred of their own accord or naturally so which are these changes which of these changes are occurring on their own accord like sprouting of a bean or sprouted bean this is happening naturally right now all other changes melting of a ice cube it, it is happening naturally now boiling of water you have to boil it you have to put some efforts right you have to put the pan or the pot on the gas stove and then the water might be boiled now you have to light the firecrackers then only it will burst right now let's study further we have previously studied some examples of changes Changes like the ripening of a fruit, sprouting, spoiling, sorry, spoiling of a milk occur naturally. These are called natural changes. So, changes which occur naturally are called natural changes. So, the examples are sprouted bean or a spoiling of milk, ripening of a fruit. If a fruit is on the tree, it will ripen naturally. But if it's if it is poor. Uh, it, if it is drawn from a tree then you have to make some arrangements to for the ripening of the fruit right so if the fruit is on a tree it will ripen naturally now we may we see many man-made materials man-made materials in our day-to-day -day life for what purpose are they produced so what are the man-made materials we see in our day-to-day -day lives we see plastic which is the common material we see in our day-to-day -day lives concrete plastic and other things right plastic is used for making chairs and other things concrete is used for building now many changes such as sharpening of pencil baking bread cooking food are useful to us and these are therefore called as useful changes now here two definitions are given useful changes and harmful changes so which are the useful changes changes which are useful to a human body or the environment are called useful changes now what are the useful changes which are given here the examples sharpening of a pencil it is useful for writing purpose right baking bread it is useful for eating cooking food it is also useful for eating it gives us nutrients and it helps us to grow our growth for the growth of our body as well as for it gives us energy as well so we can carry out our day-to-day -day work right so cooking of a food is a useful change now the changes that are not useful or changes that do us harm are called 
harmful changes so changes which are bad for the human body or the environment the changes that are not useful or changes that do us harm are called harmful changes so what are the examples of harmful changes you can see cutting of a tree is a harmful change it will it will increase the erosion of soil as well as decrease the oxygen levels in the environment so it is bad for environment so cutting of a tree is a harmful change what is the another example pollution polluted rivers or polluted water is also a harmful change so here two questions are asked to you use your brain power what kind of change is the falling of a tree in a storm so storm is happening naturally so falling of a tree in a storm will be a natural change right what kind of change change is the conversion of conversion of milk into yogurt so is it, it is a useful change why it is a useful change yogurt is yogurt gives us nutrients when we eat yogurt it gives us nutrients it is also good for our digestion system so it will be a conversion of milk into yogurt is a useful change okay so this will be all about these ta three types of changes that is natural changes useful changes and harmful changes so we'll study these topics further okay thank you for watching have a good day